You know it never fails when you get going good. Something always happens, or at least it does to us. We've been rolling awesome on production this year, and now all of a sudden, our meal rotary table quit working. So we got Cade and Rusty working on it. There's bearings all the way through that thing. And there's a bearing lock nut, spacer, worm wheel. That's all in that one piece. Basically what I'm saying is if we take that out, it's going to explode. Can't worry about that. What I'm looking like, what I'm looking for right now is something explode. You know, Cade and Rusty pulled the rotary table out and started trying to break it down, looking through the manual, and trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And as they read, they found out that you needed to have a clean work environment and have the proper tools. Perform all insulation maintenance procedures in a neat, orderly manner. Disassemble unit for service in a clean, clear area. I put down a fresh piece of cardboard before we start working. during installation and service disassembly and reassembly. And you fit a beat on it with a piece of wood. After Cade and Rusty tried to take it apart and figure out what was wrong with it, to the best of their knowledge, all they could figure out is maybe the oil smelled bad, maybe it was burnt up. Man, something's burnt. One of them bearings is out. That's the only thing that smell could be. It may yeah, be it the bearings in that oil. motor. Yeah, but when it ran out of oil, it could have just got what little oil in there hot. Stink like that, and that grease and all got hot. I don't know, I quit. I'm done with it. I don't care if we never cut out another duck hole with it, I'm done. Finish. We knew we were going to probably have to send it back and either get it repaired or get it replaced. And we knew either way from the downtime or the price of getting a new one was going to be pricey. So we tried to call our insurance man, Jimbo Ramsey, to see if he could help us out with it. Jimbo Ramsey. Jimbo, hey, this is John at R&T. Hey, ma'am. Hey, uh, I got a question for you. Hi. What kind of uh, policy we got on uh, equipment as far as um, like a rotary table for our mill machine if, say, uh, somebody didn't keep oil in it? If they didn't uh, have oil in it, time it burned up or whatever happened, that would probably fall under inadequate maintenance. I got you. So what you're telling me is you can't fix stupid? Uh, pretty much you can't insure stupid. Oh, you remember what these two go to? The little one goes in here. Hey. What'd you do with all the ones that were sitting on top of them and took it out? I just dumped them over here. I had about, I had about six years of Votech. <laughs> about six years of Votec on machine. It wasn't exactly like this one. I mean, actually it wasn't nothing like this. It was like a small gas engine, but uh, I feel like if a man can rebuild a small lawn mower, like a push mower, I don't get into riding stuff. I mean, how hard can this be, right? I mean, it, it don't even have a combustion engine, so it just got some stuff to twirl. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. That's it, bro. We don't like it. Turn it back the other way. It'll turn the other way. It won't turn either way. We got the cylinder on over there. What do you mean? Just because that off ain't, it should still turn. You would think so. But, uh, I gotta go help a man put a soft top on his Jeep. I ain't got time to be messing with work. <coughs> off now. <laughs> you think it's because we don't have those things screwed down on there? No. Should be. Unless it's got the bearings of fine because they can sit there and wobble. But I doubt it. I think we broke loose whatever's been binding it up. That or Screw fell off in there. We didn't have anything working here. Oh God. Put these things back on this other side. Screw them back in there, and then we'll see. But now that's I, that keeps pressure on that bearing, so you know about how tight it was when we took it loose. 
just needs to snug up on there. But put them on there and let me go help John put his uh, Angie's top back on. Oh, Lord. I'm go wash my hands. Okay, Park, would you like to follow me to uh, job number two? Sure. Cooter says, how big you need this big? <laughs> I don't know how big that is. I asked him a question right here. I mean, I didn't major in boat analyzation or anything. I am sure, as organized as I am, that I threw them away. I don't think it's, I, don't, I think it's too, too big. Too big around. Two. What's the serial number there? Eight, three, four, uh, 22, That's a crazy thing. Oh, shit. Sure. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you can't just go to Stedman and find, go to the hardware store and find something like that, John. For real? <laughs> I mean, somebody had to make it. Well, what are we gonna do now? It's like 4 o'clock. It's past 4 o'clock. It's 4.25. Is that right? <laughs> we need four more. <laughs> well, and the reason it's not threaded right there is because when it's moving around right there and there, it doesn't strip the threads out. What you need to do is Just take it back to the four place. Go to four place, tell them you need four of those. I can't get it out now, Cooter. See, that's what happened to the meal, Cooter. You tried to do some stuff like that. Yeah. Reach up there and get them big paws of yours on it so you can twist them out. Man, don't be putting your hands all over the man's ride, damn. What's wrong with you?